Hey Valley Middle, welcome back to another G67 math video. Tonight we're going to be looking at three-dimensional shapes and their properties. Before we do that, let's start off with a trivia question of the day. Just for fun, how long has the iPhone been around? Back with the answer to that question after our instruction tonight. Tonight officially our target is I can identify three-dimensional shapes and describe their properties. Let's do this thing. Gosh, Kip, what is that? It's Uncle Wrinkle's new painting. No, I mean like, what kind of shape is it? It's an octahedron. Whoa, where did you learn that? I learned a Jenny with babes online. It never gets old. If you haven't seen the movie, watch Napoleon Dynamite. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, it's an octahedron. Kip is right. It's got eight faces, 12 edges, and six vertices. And if you can name those and understand those properties, you're probably going to do pretty well in the quiz. A lot of vocabulary in this quiz. So let's start off with the review stuff. First of all, a vertex. So this is where edges meet. And here's your edge right here. That's where two faces meet. And then you've got faces and bases. Uh, a face and a base um, are really the same thing. Uh, a base is the bottom. We use base when the face is on a uh, prism. Like we name the prisms for their bases. So yes, this is a triangular face, but it's also the base of the prism. Same thing is true with pyramids, and we'll go over that in a little bit. Now we've got uh, congruent. Congruent means same size and same shape. That's again a fifth grade word. These two uh, pentagons are congruent. They're the, exactly the same size and same shape. Identical. That's another movie. Uh, regular. All sides are uh, all sides and angles are equal. So notice that these two here are re both regular pentagons. Yes, all the sides and the angles on this one are the same, and all the sides and the angles on this one are the same. But they're not congruent, but they are regular. So make sure you understand regular and congruent. All right, now we've got the three Ps. Let's start off with uh, polyhedron, the first one. It's a solid figure with many plane faces, uh, and they're polygon faces. Here we are, you can look at poly and non-poly. These are all polygons. Sorry, these are all polyhedrons. Yes, they have polygon sides. These are non-polyhedrons, and you notice something different about non-polyhedrons. They have some sort of a curved edge or a rounded surface. So polyhedrons, polygon sides all the way around. Non-polyhedrons, something that's not a polygon on it. All right? So that's the first P, pretty straightforward and easy. A prism. Uh, we've been dealing with prisms for a long time. Uh, prisms and pyramids. Uh, you know, they're solid geometric figures, figures who's who are named for their bases. And instead of reading this, I'm just going to define it by looking at them here. Look at These are all prisms. They're named for their bases. This is a triangular prism, like the one in the first example. It's named for their bases, and there's two of them. This triangle and one back here. And those two triangular bases are parallel to one another, and they're perpendicular at a right angle to the sides. Here's a square prism. It's got two squares, one here and one over here. Those are the bases. They are parallel to one another, and... They are perpendicular to the sides, and that's the case for all of them. The rectangular, the pentagonal, hexagonal, and octagonal. They're named for their bases. And of course, whatever the name of the base is, if it's octagonal, oct means eight, that means there are eight rectangular sides. All sides on prisms are rectangles. Again, this is stuff you already know. I'm just re reiterating it because it's going to be quizzed, uh, or it's going to be on the quiz. Pyramids are like... Um, prisms. They are named for their base, but instead of having rectangular sides, they have triangular sides. So here's an octagonal prism. Here's the octagonal, uh, sorry, here's the octagonal prism, octagonal base, rectangular sides. Here's the octagonal pyramid, octagonal base, triangular side. Hexagonal prism, see, so notice the rectangular sides, octagonal pyramid, triangular sides. So they're named for their bases. There's only one of them, obviously, because they're pyramids. And then those triangular sides all meet up at the apex. So triangular, uh, triangular, uh, sorry, pyramids and uh, prisms, all named for the bases. So that's the second of the Ps. The third P is platonic solids. And these are special polyhedrons. Let's take a look at them, see what you notice. Take a second. Do you notice that all the sides are congruent? Yes, they are all identical sides. They're all regular polygons that are, uh, that are congruent. In other words, all the sides and the angles are the same, and all of the shapes are identical in, uh, from one side to the other, just like the octahedron 
that uh, Napoleon Dynamite was talking about at the beginning. So here's some other stuff about them. Here's the tetrahedron right here. Four faces, six edges, four vertices. Here's the cube. Sometimes it's called a cuboid. Uh, that's an old term, but it's just a cube. Six faces, 12 and 8. You know the, the edges and the vertices on this one. Here's the octahedron. We already go, had gone over. Eight faces, 12 edges, six vertices. Okay. Here's the dodecahedron made with pentagons. 12 faces, 30 edges, 20 vertices. And the icosahedron, 20 faces, 30 edges, and 12 vertices. Um, I'm going to show you this at the end so you don't have to copy that down. You can maybe take a picture of it or a screenshot of it. But, yeah, I, they look like gamer die. My friends in, in uh, high school used to play Dungeons and Dragons with different kinds of dies that had numbers on the side that they could roll instead of a standard number cube like we use. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape there. Those are the platonic solids. So we've got our uh, three Ps, and we've got congruent, regular, uh, vertex, edge, face, base. Um, let's try some. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video and see if you can identify the number of faces, the number of edges, and the number of vertices, and the name of each of these uh, polyhedrons here. Go ahead. All right. Just pause them. Did you get them all written down? Yeah, you didn't have to draw the picture. You can just write the name and the faces, edges, and vertices. That would work. All right. Let me see if I can get it to work. Here we go. Rectangular prism. Hexagonal prism. Pentagonal prism. Triangular prism, you can check your numbers for faces, edges, and vertices. Let's go ahead and try a second one. To pause the uh, video and try these problems here. Same thing. You don't need to draw them. Just write down faces, edges, and vertices, or F, E, V, and the name of each one. Go ahead. All right. Let's see how you did. Triangular pyramid. Cube. Square or rectangular pyramid? I couldn't really tell. It looks like a square, but it looks like it might have been stretched out a little when I uh, put the graphic on. And the pentagonal pyramid? Lovely. Okay. Well, uh, you're ready for the ticket to the show. It's a very vocabulary-based ticket to the show. Uh, polyhedron, platonic solid, prism, congruent. What does the word regular mean in the phrase regular octagon? Please define these terms. Use some pictures if you need to. Let you think about that for a second. How'd you do? I know you're probably scrolling back to try to find the answers uh, within the um, video. So I'm just going to give them to you. Here they are right here. And I'm going to slide this guy up just a little bit so you can see that. I'd take, maybe take a screenshot of this. It might be, uh, I know you're going to need this information to complete the worksheet for the independent study or in class. So you're going to like that. It'd be nice to have that with you. All right. Thanks. Our trivia question of the day. How long has the iPhone been around? Well, it first was introduced in the 80s. Check now, dude. No, I'm just joking with you. Here's actually the first iPhone right here. No, but that would have been funny. I, that was a pretty funny graphic I found. All right, here it is. The first iPhone was released in June 29th, 2007. Wow. It's been around that long. It's hard to believe. It doesn't look that much different than the one I've got right here. All right, thanks for listening. Have a great day.